Now I'd like to display some comments on our site. And the way that we do this at this point, we can use a few different platforms, but I'll be using Discuss. So if you head over to discuss.com, that's D-I-S-Q-U-S.com, you should then be able to log in and create an account. And subsequently, once you're on the dashboard, you can hit add Discuss to site. We can head down to the bottom here and select get started. And we want to say install Discuss on our site. Now at this point in time, we don't have a URL because we're developing this locally, but your user will. So whoever is installing this theme or whether you're using the theme, you will actually have a URL. So I'm going to simply put Paul Halliday, and that's just the name of my website and the category of which is probably technology. So if we hit create site, you can see that now we can select a few different plans. I'm just gonna select basic for now. And what I want to do is hit ghost. So by hitting ghost, it tells us to do exactly this. We want to find the post.handlebars file, which we've already done because we're working on that file. We need to copy and paste the universal embed code between the opening post and the closing post helpers. So let's select the universal embed code. We can copy all of this and we can head back to our project. So that is now at post.handlebars. So I wanna put this on top of the subscriber field. So I want a new section, the class of container, and I'm gonna paste in that JavaScript code. So let's read and take a look at what's going on at this point. So it's telling us to change the information underneath here. So we have this discuss config. So if we uncomment this like it says, and that's set to page URL. So you wanna tell your user, and you can even leave this in or write some documentation to instead display the page URL. So if we said blog.paulhalliday.io, that would be our current blog. Now, when it comes to this page identifier, what we need to type is a new string, ghost dash, and we wanna add in the comment underscore ID. So that will then allow us to write new comments based on our blog. So if we refresh our page, we can then see that we now have this discuss comment. We could write a comment, for example, I love ghost. And we could post this as Paul Halliday. We would then see that our comment appears. The user would have to make sure that they put the correct page URL when it comes to production, as that will allow the comments to work correctly. But right now we're here on localhost, we do have comments. We also have an author box here and we have our post complete with the post title and image.